highlight of the PSL final. It was one of the biggest rivalries who went head to head. It was the Karachi Kings versus the Lahore Kalandas from the National Stadium, Karachi. You are watching these highlights on the Pakistan Super League YouTube page. It was the same pitch as Eliminated 2, where the Kalandas beat the Multan Sultans to reach their first final. The Lahore Kalandas won the toss and they decided to have a bat first. The Lahore played the same side that beat the Multan Sultans on the pitch and one change for the Karachi Kings. Umad Asif came in for Wayne Parnell. Here are the highlights of the first innings. Through the offside, first boundary, off the final. Certainly is. And if you're not going to come down and get to the pitch of it, then maybe go deep in your crease. Look, goes back. A little bit of bounce, cut away. Short wide, thrash to the offside. He's away with the boundary. Beautiful shot. Sensational shot. Pace, a little bit of bounce, sits in his crease, times it. This is what makes him such a good player. And I'm thankful that that little conversation with him hasn't affected him. Well, they'll be happy so far. Walker's a man down the track, pumps it over. One bounce four. Good shot. To save the single, now obviously he's set his stall out as a batsman to get into the over well. And let's talk about getting into the over well as a batsman. It's about trying to hit a boundary in the first two, two ball. Sunrish Takat Sub Karneki, contest. That's a good shot into the gap. Picked up the slow ball very early and the timing was there as well. Big shot. Great shot. Six. Went with the spin. Went aerial. Went high. Gets a six. Gets Lahore Kalandas to a 50 mark as well. Yeah, so they have to do the running. Here he comes running down the crease, but he still maintains the shape again. Tamim Iqbal, great exponent playing against spin. He doesn't try and overhead it. Again, the extension of the arms gives himself some room. And really well played. Almost done in flight. Not a bad delivery, but a really brave. Get it, get it, get it, get it, Lovely get it. timing into the gap, and Fakhar earns himself a boundary. This is classy stuff from the left hander. So we've seen Tamim to be glorious over long off, and then we've seen Fakhar with a beautiful cut shot. Up and over, slashed away. It's not straight out of the middle of the bat. That's because of the surface, but the intent was there and the boundary has come. It's up in the air, short side, but not short enough. The catch is taken. Yeah, very nice catch there, and the Iron Man lifts his shirt up. He's inspired by Iron Man, and he always does that. A very good athlete, enough. I think he's holding out again. Two fielders converging. If the car, oh, that's brilliant. That's a really, really good catch. Really good catch. It looked as though he'd overrun it. Fantastic. Day he's having. He ran all the way. You saw the other ring fielder coming in from square leg. Would have been slightly simpler for him. But if the car overran that. No! Goodness me. That's gone straight up in the air. And that's going to be another one. It's the end of Mohammed Afiz. And that's three wickets in the space of a couple of overs for the Karachi Kings. Mohamed Afiz down the track, getting it to, on the toe end of the bat. And another Jubilee safe hands catch, this time by Barbar Azam again. The catching's been good, making no mistake. Again short, but this time glove on it. Oh, a bit of bat and races away. Arshad Iqbal is encouraged by that last dismissal of Samad Patel. He again bangs it in short. And the shackles have been broken. It's been a while since we've seen a boundary across the seam. Getting that extra bounce again. 
heavy club on it and fortunate because that's carried it all the way past the wicket keeper and down to the boundary for four. Two shot, nicely played over the top, just guided it and a welcome boundary. That shot over length again and it's been skied. Mid wicket comes in, taken. Barbara is the winner of the catch. Asher Iqbal, he's banging it hard. Ben Dunk knows there's not much time left in his innings. He's got to get after it. Baba Razam, he looks composed under the ball, but to get there, his feet move really quickly. Great body position. Four overs left. We know David Wiesa can absolutely crash it. That's a four. 100 comes up. Lovely piece of timing from Wiesa. That's gone up in the air. Is somebody calling for it? Is it going to be held? Taken beautifully held. Running catch. It's a great catch for the final. Rutherford takes a blinder. Big boundary into the pitch and backed up by some excellent catching. It's skied up in the air. Who's going to call for it? Beautifully taken by Iftikhar, that's the second catch of the evening, third catch of the evening. That's gone all the way for six, good connection, good hit. Some respite for Lahore Kalandas. Twenty thousand rupees donation from Go Loot Low for every six. Chain Sharp Reed, that was his first ball, we think about his bowling. Oh, that's such a good shot in the end. That really is magic from Shine Shafri, the guy who doesn't really know how to bat properly at times. He's turning it on. Do you know what I was just about to say, Ramis? What is somebody at six foot five going doing this for? Why well, he just hits it out of the ground? That is absolutely exceptional. Full delivery, two is the call, we size off from the non-strikers end, they get the second run quite easily, so it's not a bad end to the innings, have they got enough? That is the big question and query. So having chosen to bat, they only got to 134 for seven, top scorer Tammy Mikbel with 35 from 38, not a good uh, total, and they got there with also 14 extras. Good bowling from the Karachi Kings. One for six for the captain off his two overs. Pick really was uh, Maksud, two for 18. Couple of wickets for Arshad and Umed who came in for Wayne Parnell, two for 18. So it was quite simple for the Karachi Kings to win their first Pakistan Super League. They needed 135 runs to win. Here are the highlights of that second innings. The international streaming as well going on uh, the YouTube Pakistan Super League official. Glorious, absolutely glorious. We're talking about a guy who's, who's been at the leaderboard now for about good two years in T20 cricket. And if you were puzzled why he's getting runs, is a great example of why he's been so good. Conventional, that is what he mentioned in our brief interview when he was uh, parked at deep point. Wow, it had that wow factor, didn't it? Yeah, that is simply spectacular from Barber. The classical Barber Azam cover drive, it doesn't get better than that. Uh, to the pitch of the ball, driven beautifully through the line. The poise and balance because the quicker you bowl, the more that ball will hit the fence. Yeah, both seamers pitching the ball up. I think they're trying to look for the swing, but nothing really happening for them. It's too far outside off stump, too full. And all Sharjeel had to do is get back on that. Into the gap and four, beautifully struck by Sharjeel. He goes, catch it is the call. Will this be taken and beautifully held? Magnificent running catch.
Fakhar Zaman there taking it outstandingly well. Jubilee say fans, this ball set up to be hit for a six. He just didn't have the connection and Fakhar, have a look at this great catch. What a fantastic day the Lahore Kalandas are having. While all in all the catching has been fantastic, Fakhar does also have the highest catches of the tournament. Sweeping away square and hard. Don't mind it, Sammy. Don't mind it, Sammy. He's absolutely smoked that one. Hales is away. One nil to Hales. Acknowledgement of Samet Patel. This goes across. Nail the sweep shot. It almost carried all the way. A skimmer. One bounce into the fence. Strike rate 137. Good work. Really good work down there on the fence. He's gone really quickly, bottom of the bat and quite fine. Harris Row picked it up, left-handed. Sundridge, smart fielding. Oh, he's got him! What a ripper! That is a beauty from Dilbar. Just rolling his fingers over this meant that it turned back, bounce, hit the top of middle. Oh, well played, Barbara Azam. He is in a different league. He really is incredible. I'm going to ask you, because I can talk over this of what a great shot, I'm going to ask you as a batsman, how difficult is he when you see the ball go into the wicket to then change like that? He looked like he was about to pull. The first thought for me, he was going to pull this delivery, and he's just helped it on its way. That is really, really difficult. Oh, gone fine for four. This is excellent batting. Beautifully placed. This is ability to pick up length early and to beat the field. He plays all his shots mostly into the gaps. Pulls it beautifully. This time he picks it up early. Crashes it into the fence. It's a 50 for Barbarazam. What a role he's playing in this run chase. Magnificent batting. What a player he is. He was quick to pounce on that, picked it up early and managed to hit it in front of square. He's got the most runs of the tournament, most runs in T20 this year and brings up yet another 50. That's gone fine and given by the umpire, so they've got a great result here. Was there a little bit of bat involved? He's going to ask his partner, Chadwick Walton, what to do. The cross seam delivery again. And there wasn't much of an appeal from the bowler for some odd reason. That seems to be plumb in front of the stumps. In the air. Has he got enough of it? He definitely has. And it all just bounce once and go for four. They're 11 runs away from their first title. 124 for three. Eleven runs needed for Karachi Kings. And he's chipped it. And has that been taken? Yes, it has. So if the Khan's just chipped it to Visa and Harris broke as a wicket. And he just punches it to David Visa. Good catch low down. We've seen some good catches tonight on both sides. Should have perhaps gone through with it, it had gone over mid on. Goes again, another chip and another wicket. On a hat trick. Harris Rowe is on a hat trick. Again into the surface, maybe just sits up a little bit because. Now defends the hat-trick ball, two and two for Harris Rauf. But he'll need a couple more, it's a bit of a tiff, though, Tom. Yeah, again, just chipped. 
tried to use the pace, stuck in the surface. Flicked in the air, timed well. Will this go to the fence? Boundary relieves all the pressure. Just outside Legstone, watch the timing. Beautiful timing, no person in front of square. Times it through the offside and Imad Wasim has led Karachi Kings to PSL 5, victory for them, the boy from Lahore, Babur Azam, has made sure that they don't mess this up. This has been one hell of achievement. All hail the new kings of PSL. Brilliant from Karachi Kings. What a performance. Well, what a performance it was from Babur Azam, who led his team home. 63 from 49, it was excellent from the Karachi Kings. From Charry Walton, just released a little bit of pressure. Captain who finished off with 10, 70 liberties. And they got there with eight balls to spare, 135 for five. It was a difficult night for the Calanders bowlers. They tried their hardest. Harris Ralph was the pick with his pace, two for 30, and a couple of wickets for Dilbar as well, two for 28. But with his performance of 63 from 49, it was no shock that Babar Azam was named player of the match in the final of the 2020 Pakistan Super League. It's the Kalandas who won the toss and simply wasn't enough. 134 for seven, great from Maksud with a two for 11. The pick was Umaid with two for 18. What a performance that was having been brought in at the expense of Wayne Parnell. And in reply, the Karachi Kings got there with uh, eight balls to spare, 135 for five, and they won by five wickets. Karachi Kings claim their first HBL PSL trophy. Thanks for joining us, and see you again soon. You were watching these highlights on the Pakistan Super League YouTube channel.